Guys, welcome back again, stringsports.co.uk YouTube channel. Um, thought we were going to change it up a little bit. Um, you guys will be used to by now our two minute racket review. Uh, we posted one a couple of days back on the, on the new Radical. Today we're going to go slightly different. So we decided that we were going to pull out um, five head frames all in the 300 gram range and give you a little bit of insight into what we felt was the, the best frame. Um, so first up in our list was the Boom Pro 400. Um, obviously designed to be one of Head's more powerful rackets in the range, hence the name Boom. <laughs> um, this one's obviously 310 grams um, and actually performed well on the day. Um, felt similar to, again, my racket Pure Drive. Nice powerful frame, nice wide string pattern is allowing me to create spin, you know, I, I struggle with that, I play pretty flat and I like to have the wider string pattern to help me create the shape. Um, this racket um, was strung pretty loose um, with links, which again I play with a pretty loose tension, um, so felt nice to me um, and performed overall pretty well. Um, yeah, moving on to our next frame. We then went to the, the Gravity Mid Plus. So this one's coming in 300 grams and is one of Head's top control based frames. Um, sits kind of alongside the speed in our opinion in the shop in terms of, of control and maybe just below the prestige. Um, this racket 300 grams felt to me pretty head light and was very, very maneuverable when I was hitting the ball. 16 by 20 string pattern as you'll see in the spec. Again, this was quite pretty dense for me and I was struggling to create the shape of the ball that I liked to cr uh, create. I felt like I was having to work harder to make the trajectory of the ball do what I wanted it to do. Loved it when I was playing my slice backhand. Felt pretty nice in through the volley and I liked it in and around the serve. Great control racket, guys, but you have to work pretty hard to create the, the speed and the spin from the back of the court. Next, we had the Speed Pro. Um, 310 grams, 1820 string pattern. Now I love the feeling and the shape of this racket. However, 18 by 20, I struggle with. I just don't swing fast enough. I don't have that natural snap in the wrist to create the spin and the, the trajectory required. However, if you're someone who swings the racket really quickly and can generate plenty of wrist and spin, again, I think this would be a great racket for that style of player. Love the control around the net, real good feel and, and controlling around the net. Maybe lacked a little bit of pop in my serve considering this is a pretty heavy, heavy frame. But again, overall, Graphene um, 360 Plus, so super stable. And we, we love this about the entire head range. Um, you, you feel very little shot when you're, when you're hitting the ball. And I, I'm pretty sure this is due to the Graphene technology and all, all the rackets. So, so big up to head for, for that one. Uh, we then went to the Prestige Tour 300, uh, and to me, this racket is one of the most gorgeous rackets on the market. It looks stunning. I wanted this to be my, my favourite racket. Um, 315 grams, so heaviest of the ones we, we, we tried today. Um, overall, really loved the performance of this. Super control based frame. Felt like I was still able to create plenty of spin. Uh, my hitting partner Callum, feedback was that the ball was really moving through the court and I was keeping excellent depth when I played with this frame. Um, and again, in and around the net and on serve, really, really enjoyed this racket. Prestige Tour. Again, what I would say, pretty much a player's racket in it that way. You've you probably got to play to, to a quite a high level to allow you to, to enjoy this racket. If you're maybe a lower, lower level player, or maybe a, a club level player, maybe some of the other models are, are better suited to you. But for me, the prestige was, was right up there. Um, last in, the, in today's test, which we, we produced our two minute review on this, was the brand new Radical Mid Plus. 300 grams, um, gorgeous looking frame, much, much nicer than the last one. They've, they've dumbed the, the orange down slightly. Uh, and, the, and the navy sort of blue grey colour looks looks really smart. Beautiful feeling round the throat. Love the matte feel for my one-handed backhand. Again, sorry, I keep going back to it, but it's important for for me as a player. Um, yeah, so overall, again, performed really well. I'd say again, super stable. 
Strings were a little bit loose for my liking, but that was a factory, and we pulled it brand new out of the wrapper on the day. I'd like this to be strung a little bit tighter for me uh, moving forward. Obviously, that's pretty simple to, to sort for all you guys out there. So, let's rank the frames. Um, like I say, this is just my opinion or, or, or our opinion within the store. Um, in last place, coming fifth for us, Speed Pro. Good racket, but 18 by 20, we struggled. We struggled to create the speed, we struggled, struggled to create the trajectory. I made a lot of mistakes in the net with this racket. Could just be personal to me, but we're ranking this number five today. Fourth place. Interesting this one, again, my hitting partner, um, Callum, who works with us in the, shop, in the store. He, his feedback when I was hitting with this racket was good. Um, I just didn't feel um, as comfortable as I did with some of the other ones. I was struggling a little bit with the rounded shape of the head and the gravity. It's a very round shaped head, which will be fine for, for some of you, but for me, just slightly off-putting. Um, again, good, good, good racket, Not, nothing really wrong with it, but for me, fourth out of the five we tried today. Third place, the boom. Um, great power, um, don't mind the looks on this racket, quite like the, the sort of teal blue. Um, like the, the wide string pattern, quite like the tapered beam um, moving from thin to slightly thicker at the top of the, of the racket. And for those of you who need a little bit of extra help and power, uh, particularly on the serve, this is pretty nice to serve with. I reckon the boom would be a great racket for you. But for today, the boom is going to be ranked third overall in performance. Okay, second place, this was a tough one. Um, I think for nostalgic purposes, I'm going to rank the Prestige as second place, although very, very close between the two. Uh, this for me, again, gorgeous looking frame, super control based, love the shape of the head, love the throat feel for the one-hander. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice frame, 315 grams, possibly a little bit heavy for me if I was playing with it a lot these days, getting on a bit. Um, but overall, fantastic performing racket. Great, again, if you're a top um, junior or, or a very, very good club player, this is a good range to look at. Again, comes in various different specs, all of which you can find on the website. But rank second today. And in first place, we've got the Radical Mid Plus. Um, really enjoyed this frame. Shape of the head, excellent. Throw it with the matte paint, lovely in the hand. Um, like I say, small complaint with the factory restring. I'm sure strung with my usual string, which is Alvi Power 1.25, at my usual tension. This racket would perform really, really nicely. Um, just out, guys. So snap these up quickly. I think they're going to go fast. Like I say, you can demo them in store, or you can um, come along to the shop itself and just just uh, purchase away. As always, 10% off if you buy two frames on the website. So check us out and thanks for listening today. Sorry for droning on a little bit longer. Hope you liked the new style video. As we say, smash the like button, give us a follow. We've got lots of new product lined up, um, ready to be released. Thanks again, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thank you.